This is the remains of an ancient political billboard, which proclaims, vote for Satrius. The inscription was made by one of Pompey's richest families, the Valentes. In a bid to turn their wealth into political power, they wrote their names in enormous letters all over town. As our scans now reveal, the lavish decoration of their own home was all part of their campaign to impress. It was here that they invited fellow bigwigs to wine and dine, to dinner and to parties. The restorers are in here now, just like the painters and decorators must have been 2,000 years ago, because the proudest boast of the Valentes were the paintings on their walls. Our laser scans allow us to really appreciate the splendor of the 2,000-year-old decoration, so miraculously preserved by the volcanic ash. The vivid colors and elaborate artworks, a bold statement about the theatrical nature of the Valentes. And now we can imagine the parties they threw in this sumptuous courtyard. And if you were lucky enough to come here to a soiree, the thing that would really have caught your eye would have been that striking image at the other end of the garden. This is the goddess Venus, goddess of love. She is shown naked and reclining on a seashell, surrounded by cherubs. It's an erotic, striking image that must have been a talking point. But examining the Venus up close, Mary Beard thinks she reveals something about the Valentes themselves. For me, actually, it's all a bit too theatrical. She does look pretty striking from the other end of the garden. But when you get close, she is really a bit cheap. I mean, to be honest, you'd have to be a goddess to get your leg in that position. Maybe it's telling us something about the Valentes? Bit more show than substance? <laughs> 